Roswell Flight Test Crew here at Interdrone 2015. Click subscribe now to keep up with our coverage of the show. And I'm speaking to Jonathan Evans from Skyward. How are you doing, Jonathan? I'm well, Patrick. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Now, I understand you guys have launched a new piece of software here at the show. What's that all about? We have. We, this is our commercial launch week for uh, Skyward. And Skyward is a fully integrated solution to help professional drone operators navigate these new rules of the sky and, and manage a professional drone business. Really? So what, what goes into a professional drone business? I mean, a lot of people, including us, are drone operators, but sort of what, how, what does that segment need that you're helping them with? Well, you know, basic records management tracking for personnel, you know, who, who is flying in what machine, all of the drones, um, integrated with flight planning tools, flight logging tools, and all integrated with a drone airspace map so that you can navigate those new rules of the sky on, on the operations that you're going out on. Fantastic. Can you show us how it works? I would love to. See here on the dashboard, you've got your upcoming flight gigs that you'll be going to and, and some of your most recent. And really, where any flight gig is going to start for you, any, any job that you're going to manage, is you're going to start in the airspace. We start by taking a look at that airspace and let's start by putting on some layers here. This operator, we'll say, is perhaps operating under a Section 333 and COA. We're right here, right next to McCarran Airfield, and we've got this airport coordination zone that's mandated by the CO. It's a five nautical mile zone around that airport. You know, it's a simple idea. If you're going to be in busy airspace, you need to coordinate with the folks that are coordinating the other, the other participants in that airspace. That's the tried and true safety principle we've always operated under, and, and every single one of us operates under when we walk down a jetway. You can see here that the surface depicted Class Bravo airspace associated with this airfield is depicted, and you may be out here where you're not in an airspace coordination zone necessarily. Necessarily. But I can tell you as a pilot, it's a good idea to still coordinate this flight. And you want to know why? That special shape right there, that's the corridor that all the jets are coming down to Las Vegas from, right? And I think that a lot of these drone pilots just don't necessarily know that they're sitting right underneath one of these corridors. This is directly from the FAA. This is the national airspace system. And we depict that for you so that you have that airspace knowledge, that situational awareness. And then let's zoom into the work level. Let's say that we want to do a maybe a golf course survey down here. Now we know that this is a coordination zone. We have the phone number. We've talked to the airport manager there. We're going to say, hey, we're going to come out here and we're going to do a survey of this golf course on this day. So let me start by just drawing a flight area. This is basically my area of operations now for a professional drone business. We'll just call it golf course. And we can also provide things, maybe don't overfly the, the club here. For example, club. It's a warning hazard there. We could say that this is the takeoff zone over here, for example. And we can share this information across the entire organization. So again, any pilot that might be joining me on this, an observer, maybe a payload operator, they'll have access to this information in the organization as well. And I also like when I'm looking at a work mode, I like to look at, at the hybrid view because it really does get me basically doing that first, again, that professional notion of I'm going to do a site survey before I even go out there with a drone. I want to make sure that I see what I can basically at the satellite view level and get a sense of what does this gig really look like for me. The rest of the, the information management platform is about managing the people that are going to be flying these drones. The drones, of course, that are in my fleet, and that could be any drone. It could be a DJI Inspire right next to a Solo, right next to a Parrot Bebop. And so flight records, you can either plan a flight or you can log a flight, and you do the flight in between, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. So just to save a little bit of time here, we'll do a continued planning flight here at the Bonneville. We can name it. We can say what time uh, and date this flight is going to be on. We can assign the pilot from our records of, of pilots and observers, and now we can assign them to this flight. Uh, similarly, we can assign which drone is going to go on to this flight. Let's say that it's an Aerial Tronics Altura Zenith 1 that I have on the bench right now. We found with our early customers in particular that batteries were a really key point to be tracking on every flight that you're going on. And so we have a battery management tool here as well. The key part of the platform that I think is really important to understand is that we didn't try to tell professional drone operators how to build their businesses and how to track and the information they want to track. Instead, we gave them a custom tool to be able to track the information that is fundamental to the way they run their business professionally. In this example, we, we can see that we're starting to maintain the information we need to generate an invoice for this gig, for example. Cost is $400. The customer's name is BPA. 
If I'm also, again, a COA compliant Section 333 professional operator, I can track some of the COA fields that are necessary for that monthly report that I have to generate to be in compliance and anything else that might be important to me. Fundamentally, you go out and fly this and then you have to log the flight. And once you've gone from a planned flight to a log flight, you can edit this record and you can change it in time. And you can go and edit that flight area and add the information that maybe you learned on this last gig and you're gonna go out and need to know next time, hey, the gate code changed. I'm gonna update that <laughs> you know, on the map for the next pilot in my organization that's gonna be going out there as well. You maintain your flight records, you share them with the people that matter to your business. Most previous shows I've been to have been just all drones, booth with a drone, booth with a drone. How is this being received? How is your new product being received here at the show? Oh, we've been really, really thrilled with the reception. I mean, when you go to build something like this, a tool that you want to put in the hands of a whole new generation of, of operators, of aviators, um, you, you can't be totally sure that you're building the right tool, even though you've got a brilliant team around you that's, that's, that's doing the work every day. Coming here and getting to meet all of the folks out there that are standing up these businesses on this new frontier of aviation and finding out that we built the tool that they wished they could have, that they wish they could have designed, uh, that has been the most exciting thing on this journey of, 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 of Skyward yet for me, is to see that this thing really matters to, to this generation of aviators that's, that's running this, this whole new set of professional businesses. Well, Jonathan, that's fantastic. Thank you so much for taking the time to share with us. Thank you, Patrick. Always a pleasure. And from Interdrone 2015, this is the Roswell Flight Test Crew, signing off. Thank <laughs> you.